A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now. You do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on, and reclined at the table again. He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here in the moment of surrender I find Your perfect love pursuing my sin and pride I'm out of hiding now, I'm found by your grace, what I say. So when open arms I sing, now I let my walls come down, let your presence fill me now. Yeah.
give my heart, I give my soul, I give my strength, Lord take control, with all my life, with all my breath, with all I am. set free you are everything you are enough for me you're all I need dear friends you know the gospel on Holy Thursday is about the washing of the feet by Jesus you know I was going through the gospel kahit tinanggal ko sana yung mga dialogue na, even if all the dialogues between Jesus and Peter was taken out, it would have been a very clear message. Why? Because the example of Jesus, it was the example of Jesus that spoke so loudly. You know, sometimes, Many of us speak too much and we just keep talking. We really just have to maybe listen more and just do it. Yeah. I remember one time I, I was about to give a, well, a Lenten recollection, 9 a.m. recollection in Christ the King years ago. But I remember about 7 or 8 o'clock, I was walking Papuako. And I passed by the big church there where I was going to give the recollection within an hour. Just went to the tabernacle and, and asked the Lord to help me. That's a tabernacle. You know, I had the recollection. And there was one who texted me he said, Father, thank you for speaking to me this morning. Well, after hearing that, I said, wow, maybe what the recollection went well, or there must have been something I said that, that touched your heart. But the text message said, you know, I was so touched because I was in the chapel, in the church, 
the quiet corner, and I saw you go to the tabernacle, touch the tabernacle and bow your head. Thank you, Father. That's so much what I said, the recollection. <laughs> mm, it's what I did. And maybe that's how we should look at what Jesus did. And he was the feet of the disciples. Have you ever experienced washing the feet of people? <laughs> it's a very humbling experience, Bob. Very humbling. Parang ang baba baba mo ang lit lit mo, tigahugas ka ng pa. But you know what? I experience also being washed by my superior. Yung very humbling as well. Oh my God, sino po ba ako? Nahugasan po yung pa. What I'm saying is this: whether you wash the feet of others or your feet are washed. It's the same thing. It's the humility. It's the humility. So, well, lately, one of my pandemic uh, discoveries is sweeping. Uh, sweeping the, the grounds, mga, mga, the leaves that have fallen. It's a very simple thing. I just made a decision. Well, sabi nga nila, oh wow, good exercise, Jerry. Actually, for me, it's penance. It's a clear reminder of my sinfulness, my nothingness. So, I'm just happy to be given the chance. Yeah. So, mga kapatid, let us pray. God, we still have so much to learn about true loving and true humility. When we look deep into our hearts, oh God, with all the things we are doing, with all the things we think we are doing, we just end up saying, Lord, have mercy on me, I am a sinner. Humility pa more. So please, Lord, help us to really serve with humility, with joy, with penance and sacrifice. Salamat po. Thank you, Jesus, for showing us what it is really like to live and to love. God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and Mama Mary loves you. Amen. Amen.